Hello there and welcome. I wanted to go through a quick tip with you. I know some of you have been trying to figure out how to create a project for the web project from a Microsoft project file. Well, not too long ago, we had to create a use a shell script out there, a PowerShell script and, and do some code and bring some of that data over. Microsoft has gone forward and given us that to us. So it's right out of the box with project for the web now. So let's switch over and take a look at that before we do. There's a lot on our blog out there. So right behind me, you want to make sure that you go out to our blog, see what's going on there and have a lot of videos just like this. Well, the first thing we want to do is bring up uh, Microsoft project for the web. So you can see we created a bunch of different projects here, whether it's through uh, the PWA, meaning Project Online itself, or through uh, Project for the Web. And now you'll see, rather than just create a blank project up here, if you do the drop down, you'll be able to import from Project Desktop. Well, that's assuming that you actually save the project or the MPP file onto your desktop, but it doesn't really matter. You can always go and grab that file. So it's just a Project MPP file is what it's looking for right here. So when you go off and choose that MPP file, in this case, I am going to go onto our desktop. We're going to take uh, one of these software development plans that I've already saved out here and go ahead and open that. It's that simple, folks. What the tool is going to do is going to go through and take all of my tasks and start putting them into Project for the Web. It is also going to tell me if I have anything that's in that file that can't come over. And you can see right here, the import has been completed successfully, and it also has some things that weren't able to come over from Project Desktop in this case, whether you pulled your MPP file from Project Online or maybe Project Server, there's going to be a few things in there that Project for Web simply just doesn't do um, as of this point. So we're almost to the end of November, uh, end of October, excuse me, the end of September there and of 2021. So toward the end of the fall or even into the, uh, the <clears throat> new year, there's going to be some new releases here. So you might see some different things with this import. But for now, uh, you can see that it brought over our list here. You can come in, you know, and, and make your dependencies. You can check in here and make different dependencies as well as assign to. That's one of the big things that some folks say, yep, this is OK, but it still doesn't do what I want it to by bringing in the assign to. Yep, I feel your pain. I get it uh, right now. You would need to add those in again. But again, this is just that one time when you pull it over and you can go ahead and even search um, in, within your organization for people that aren't. And here we go, we have Adele Vance. And now when we add that person in, it's also gonna prompt us say, hey, this is the first time I've created this project in Project for the Web. So what do you want me to do with it? Do you want me to create a group or do you just simply want to make that assignment so we can see that task? And in this case, uh, you can choose either one. Again, this is just a quick demo that we're doing. So you can actually see that that's brought in. And here's the group that's been added. All right, so if you did have other columns that you wanted, this is project for the web. So you do have that localized field uh, capability here and say you wanted to come in and add something like location, et cetera. You can go ahead and just simply type that in, go into your field level at that point. And in this case, I happen to be in Boston. I can go ahead and put in that I'm uh, located in Boston or this this task determined project scope will handle here. And you can actually from here, you can do some, you know, copy and pasting. So I can copy here. I can go down to my next one and go ahead and paste that in. So you can do some easy, quick tips there. Now for a list of what's not going to come over from project standard in this case into, you can go ahead and use that Microsoft link. Uh, we'll provide that to you, but the all important one, uh, baselines are not going to come over. That's not supported yet. I say yet. Because uh, by the time you're watching this, it might be supported and we'll have to update this uh, this quick video. But the big one here is resources. So your resources aren't going to come over. You will need to reset those when you come into Project for the Web. Well, on behalf of uh, PPM Works and all of us here, go check out our blog, check out our YouTube sites, and hopefully this video has been helpful. Have yourself a great day. Thanks.